Hello Scorpio, welcome to your August reading. Um, I think if you are subscribed and following my channel you'll notice that there wasn't a July monthly reading but I am doing um, from August um, going forward uh, but they will be slightly shorter as I don't have as much time. So here we go, I'm going to dive straight into your August reading. Okay Scorpio, we have the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Swords. Now, the King of Pentacles speaks about setting foundations, setting um, kind of your experiences and your um, insight into a foundation, to creating, to using your intuition, to leaving legacy. He's able to manifest um, and create structure. He's able to uh, set things down in a solid way. He has uh, a slower pace than most, but he's very solid and secure. Um, there's also a great deal of instinct in the knight, the King of Pentacles. And so what I'm seeing here is that there's an energy of you listening a little bit more to this kind of sure and steady energy um, in your life that you're wanting to establish yourself, you're wanting to put these experiences, this wisdom, this knowledge into action. You want it to manifest a lot more solidly in your life. I find it interesting that we have the, the Queen of Cups next to that because there is very much, uh, we've got the kind of water and earth aspect here. And so we've got very nourishing energy here, uh, both on a physical level and on an emotional level. The Queen of Cups is uh, one who is abundant in love and nourishment. Um, but she's very discerning in who she gives that love and nourishment to. And so what I find here is there is this balance between kind of being solid and sure and steady and being able to manifest and create a solid foundation in life for yourself and also being quite discerning in who you're giving love to and being um, very measured but abundant and nurturing. So wherever you're coming from through through July, it's giving you this understanding of what kind of balance you want in your life, how you want to be and what you're, what you're reflecting right now, what is in the kind of vortex of creation for you. Now there is a caveat to this and we have the Eight of Swords and the Eight of Swords is about feeling trapped. And so I wouldn't mind betting that you're not quite there, you're trying to um, manifest this balance within yourself but something is preventing you and the only thing that is preventing you is you uh, and sometimes that's hard to hear but it's about your how you think it's about um, maybe your past experiences kind of influencing how you think and those are the only things keeping you trapped not that you can't be or do um, this scenario but you're telling yourself that you can't uh, and that is all and maybe you've been reflecting on that maybe you've been reflecting on the words you tell yourself, the, the inner narrative, if you like. There is a, a means of escape and it's just recognition. It's a recognition of self and what you do to sabotage yourself. There is an intuition with this. You're, you kind of know this, you know this energy. You recognize how you trip yourself up and there is a way to escape it because the moment you recognize it is the moment you're able to dispel it. I'm going to pull you through three clarity cards now. Okay, so we have the Five of Cups, the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Now, Five of Cups is a, about a feeling of lack, a feeling of disappointment. And you've, you know, the illusion has broken. You're able to understand that something wasn't quite what you thought it was or somebody's let you down. I feel as though this energy is something that maybe you've sat in for a while. You've been focusing on what you don't have as opposed to what you do have in order to build. And so the King of Pentacles is here to say, look, use this as your foundation. This is what is solid. This is what is staying. Um, and so this is the foundation you need to grow from, not something that was perhaps intangible or kind of nebulous or kind of promises and, and um, kind of dreams and visions of other people. Perhaps this is what belongs to you and what is within you is something that you can um, use to nurture you. And then the Ace of Swords over the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Swords brings you brand new clarity and understanding in this discernment of the Queen, this uh, ability to 
to read situations, this ability to understand the self, this Ace of Swords is giving you a brand new start in, in how to move forward with that knowledge and wisdom. And then we have the um, Queen of Swords to go with your Queen of Cups. And so you, you do have the power over these negative thoughts, over this pattern that you perhaps find yourself in. You're able to cut through uh, and use your intuition and your understanding to cut through that mental noise to sit upon uh, or above rather the, the clouds um, and be able to see uh, and have uh, f the foresight that the Queen of Swords does. I'm going to pull you one advice card now. Mm, interesting, Scorpio. So we have the postponement card. And the postponement card, it, it kind of reminds me of um, a fearful person. It reminds me of a person who is unsure of the future, of what lies ahead. And as much as she dreams and visions this kind of glorious future, this path ahead, uh, and you can see that in the kind of stripes of, of her robe, of her dress. She still remains in this kind of grey landscape because she's afraid to step through. She's afraid to kind of go through. It might disappoint. It might not be uh, as she wishes. It, it you know might be risky. So the four of clouds is a little bit like you telling yourself it's you know it's not going to be okay, but that's what you really want, and it kind of reinforces the negativity. So sometimes you have to let go of the past way of thinking and just go for it in order to see what it brings. And when you go forward with that positive narrative, it actually creates the um, positivity that you're looking for. This is the law of attraction, as you probably all know. Postponement. What are you putting off? What are you delaying? Is it this kind of change, this balance, this understanding of self, this clarity? There you go. So I'm going to draw you an outcome card for August now. Okay, Scorpio, so we have the Four of Cups that fell out. We also had the Ace of Swords here, which is interesting. So we've got all swords. It's all about your mental processes here. And it's driven by your emotion. It's driven by your fear that uh, things aren't going to be what you thought they were going to be, that um, something doesn't look like it's going to satisfy, that it may well let you down. You've kind of turned away from this abundance here, not realising that it's a stepping stone along the way, it, that there is something in this for you if you were to step through, if you were to accept that this is just the first stages of something. So whatever you're going through, whatever processes you're going through, and if you're feeling like you're not quite there yet, don't despair because it's just the beginning you know you're not going to be the master when you're you know of of a subject when you're you know you're first learning about it you're not going to be you know at the end of your journey when you're just beginning it so see this as your beginning of the journey and the potential that it has for your joy and happiness that you're turning away from okay scorpio i'll leave your reading there let me know in the comments how you feel and i'll see you next month